All right, here we go again. Today, aiming with a dot sight in the bullseye world. But before we get to the dot sight, we're gonna use this. I know, it doesn't have a dot, but it's got a laser, see? It's got two little lasers. All right. We all know when aiming with iron sights, what do we look at? The front sight. Or if we have to have a hard focus on the front sight. And when I say hard focus, I mean a true hard focus. That front sight is way too big. So if you take a look at my little teeny tiny front sight there, and it's got a little itty bitty teeny tiny scratch in it, probably can't see it. The front sight itself is too big. So there's a little teeny tiny knife mark. I take out my front sight marking tool, put a little scratch on the front sight, and that's what I've got to see throughout that whole shot process, okay? The dot's a little bit different because with a dot, you don't really have to focus on the dot. As a matter of fact, the dot was actually designed to focus on what you're aiming at, which if you're working on going distinguished or you're shooting irons and you're shooting a dot, it does get a little bit confusing because we were taught as kids growing up that if I'm gonna throw a ball to something, what do I look at? I look at what I'm throwing the ball at, right? You look at the catcher's mitt, you look at the chest of the, you know, your wide receiver or whatever, or where you want to throw the ball to, okay? If he's running, you want to throw the ball here to him, you look here and throw the ball so they meet. With iron sights, we've all learned we've got to focus on the front sight, we can't be looking at the target. Again, for bullseye shooting, okay? So we have a hard focus on the front sight. With a dot, we have got to pick something to look at. I recommend looking at the target. If you ever looked at the old boxes that, you know, some of the, the aim points or ultra dots or whatever they came in, there was a picture of a deer standing out in the field. And somebody, you know, represents somebody looking through the optic and there's a dot on Bambi. If they were looking at the dot and the dot is projected in the scope, the dot's not projected out in infinity anywhere, the dot is projected on a lens inside that optic. Where, it, what, what is going to be in focus? If I'm looking at the target, the target's in focus and the dot should be blurry. If I'm looking at the dot, obviously the target has to be blurry. Go back and look at those old red dot boxes. Is the target ever blurry? No, the target is crystal clear. So what, are, what is the shooter looking at? The shooter is looking at the target, okay? Years ago, when I first started out on the Marine Corps pistol team, Andy Moody came to me and said, Zins, I want you to try something. He was a gunny, I was a Lance Corporal. I gotta try it. He says, I want you to turn your dot down really low to where you can just barely see it at 50 yards. Instead of focusing at the dot, because back then everybody was still teaching, look at the dot. You look at the front sight, look at the dot. He said, instead of looking at the dot, I want you to look at the X on the target at 50 yards. All right, I'll give it a shot. I shot my first 100 at 50 yards. It was only like three or four X's, whatever. But it was the first time I shot 100 at 50 yards with my 22 with that old aim point or whatever it was that was on there. So after we're done shooting, Captain Belke, you'd always see a team, gathers everybody around and says, hey, come here, Zins, stand up here. You just shot your first hundred. Tell everybody what you did different that time and what you saw. I said, well, instead of aiming, or instead of looking at, focusing on the dot, I turned the dot down really low and I looked at the target. He about came unglued. He goes, look, just because we put a two or $300 optic on your gun doesn't give you a right to look at the target. He actually threw a couple more expletives in there when he said it. But it got everybody thinking. Now wait a minute, maybe we're on to something here. And that was back in 1980, uh, 1990 that that happened. And the pistol team has really been training everybody since then, and I know, you know the rest of the bullseye community really, is to look at the target, okay? The problem is, with a dot, a lot of times, we're not focusing on either one, okay? People want to see the dot clear. They want to see the target clear. They want to see the dot clear. They fall into the same trap that they did with iron sights where your focus goes from the front sight to the target, front sight to the target, front sight to the target, somewhere the shot breaks and, you're, and, and your focus is somewhere between your front sight and your target. It happens a lot with a dot too, okay? So when you're focusing on your dot, you've got to be able to see that dot crystal clear. 
And again, I'm not going to get into you know the difference between this optic, that optic, and what. But some dots are nice and round and clear, and some dots just are not. <laughs> All right, you've got to pick out for yourselves. And keep in mind that the human eye actually will see a dot different. I see my dot one way, somebody else looks at it and they see something different too. So you've got to also have, you know, take a look at how your eyes see things. Because astigmatism or anything like that, it could make your dot look a lot different. Okay? So, when aiming with the dot, the one thing we've got to keep in mind, and this is going back into Mary and that, you know, your aiming process with your trigger control again, to getting that trigger, you know, to react to what you see, but also moving the trigger as we're aligning the sights. So, if you look at my target here, what happens when I'm, when I'm shooting, and again, this is just going to represent the dot as I see it coming down through the target because you wouldn't be able to see the dot through my scope. So in slow fire, I would raise it up, slow fire, time fire, rapid fire, whatever, it doesn't matter. For that first shot, comes up, I pick up the dot up here and there's pressure on the trigger already. So I start my pressure here. As soon as that dot starts moving towards the middle, I'm building, 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 and it comes in, wobbles around here in the middle a little bit, and the shot breaks. Okay? I'm putting pressure on the trigger before the dot is in the black. Again, trigger control and aiming are one. So, gun comes up, you pick up your dot in your sights, it starts moving towards the black, pressure's on the trigger, I'm building pressure, building pressure, building pressure, it comes in, wobbles around a little bit into its aiming area, shot breaks. Okay? You've got to focus on something though. Pick one. If you're going to focus on the dot, focus on the dot. You can't go back and forth. If you're going to focus on the target, focus on the target. All right? See you next time.